Hey guys, some of you might remember this room from the old Japanese farmhouse. This used to be the old man's room and now it's an old man's room and a computer room. We did a few things to it recently that you saw to make it safer and put it in new light and so on. But it's too hot in here. It's very, very hot in here in the, in the middle of the day and in the afternoon, so it needs air conditioning. So the most common type of air conditioning in Japan is these split systems. Even really, really big buildings in Japan are often done with these split systems where they put compressor outside and then run pipes to the inside of the, the buildings. So in some countries they probably have ducted systems, but, but here more often not they use the split system, unless it's a really big building and then they do with, go with ducted air conditioning. So that's what we decided to do with this room because we have air conditioners like that in other parts of the house. So put the bracket up on the wall where we want the aircon to go. Now, when we bought this system, the labor's included or the professional is included, the guy that comes to put it in. But we wanted to work with him because if you stand back and let these things get done on their own in Japan, they'll just run pipes across the middle of everywhere, you know? So it's really best to stay involved so the first thing he did was drill a, a big hole through that. That's the mud and bamboo wall that some of you might remember that we renovated earlier. So a nice, clean, new, newly painted wall. <laughs> yeah, it's all in the timing, isn't it? So this guy was actually a really good tradesman, but it's just, it's just that the standards in Japan for running cable and pipe. I mean, these guys will build a house that'll last you know, build a, a temple or a shrine that'll last for a thousand years, you know, and do a really good job. But when it comes to houses and commercial buildings, everything's just sort of strung up, you know, they don't sort of take the extra time to make it neat. It's sort of like the attitude is that it's all very temporary. So that's why we've got the unskilled labourer involved to, to run as many cables and pipes as possible. So that's the cable going back to the power board to power the air conditioner. Actually, while we're doing that, the guy went inside and added this circuit breaker at the top here. Look, uh, now if we'd seen that coming, we would have asked him to spend another five minutes and put that cable back into the wall instead of just stapling it to the wall like that. It's just terrible, you know. They do that in new houses too. They'll just come along and nail cables to the wall like that, you know. So... Yeah, so that's we, that's why we want to be involved to try and limit that sort of stuff as much as possible. So, so we have to run another cable from the inside air conditioning system to the outside where we want to put the compressor. So we decided to put the compressor right outside here because it generates a lot of hot air, and we don't really want hot air blowing around on our entertainment area out there. So we want it to go the extra distance and get it right away from the building and right outside there where it's not going to disturb us when we're entertaining outside. So you yeah, have two, two copper pipes shrouded in some insulation, and then you had a pretty clever little tool that puts a flange on the end of it and a bolt, little nut, connect them up, and then they wrap it in tape. And that's it. See, that's and that's good. What he's done there was only because we asked him to do it that way. If we, if we let him do it the way they'd normally do it, it would have even been more of a eyesore than that, you know? So once again, the, the guy was a good tradesman and a good guy, but he was just doing it the way it's normally done in Japan, which is just, you know, string it up, nail it to the wall. <laughs> so that was it. He's finished. He's out of there. The air conditioner was working. He was gone. He had two hours he was there. So then the unskilled labor was continuing on. That bottom pipe there, the one that runs down the wall, is to take the... Uh, condensation the water flow away so we can't run that up with that other pipe it can't go up it has to go down obviously because it has to take the water away so it has to be a drop so we had to drop it down the wall and then across the bottom and then there's a drain over there that we could drop it into but it has to drop it's like a roof gutter it has to continually drop it it can't rise at all at any stage because it'll trap water and then you'll end up with um, insects in there and all sorts of things. So it has to be a constant drop all the way to the to the drain. And there it was. So we went out and had a look at the compressor. Yeah, compressor's in place. Nice and simple, really. Boom, boom. 
that's the two copper pipes and a and a mains cable connected to that just sitting on a couple of bricks that's pretty standard here too and then we break out the spray gun the magic spray gun and disappear this whole scene <laughs> this whole ugly scene They do actually have uh, like conduiting, or uh, I guess you'd call it big conduit that they can put this stuff into, but they rarely do. They rarely do. You'll see brand new houses. I think we actually showed you this once before uh, on a video where we showed you the electrical wiring and the and the plumbing on the outsides of buildings, and it's just usually what they'll do is they'll just punch a hole straight through the wall and they'll put the compressor where they want the compressor to be and then just run all the pipes in a straight line from from one unit to the other and just a couple of clamps onto the wall and, and leave it at that and walk away so as we mentioned before the average life of the average house here is only 20 years they they value them at zero after 20 years and consider them to be old so Nothing's really built to last, unfortunately. Once again, the, the temples and the shrines are, you know, the thousands year old, the, the, the old Buddha in, in Nata's 1400 years old or whatever it is. So these guys can really build a, a building to last if they want to, but with houses and things, they just sort of string it all up. So just the way it is. So if you end up in a situation like this in, in Japan, owning a house here, the only way to do it is to stay on top of it be involved with whatever's going on you know and talk to them about what they're doing and how they're going to do it and be involved they look at you strange i mean when, when i told him what i wanted here and and showed him and then told him that the unskilled laborer was going to paint it all up he was surprised it was sort of like he couldn't understand why it all seems a bit pointless particularly because this is an old house they care even less because it's an old house you know even the new ones they don't care but they care even less because it's an old house like what's the point you know but But there, so that's the best we could do. Sort of camouflage it as best as possible. So it's not too bad. And that's at the side of the house, so it's not really high profile. Sort of best we could do with it anyway. And there's the unit on the inside. And again, when, when we weren't paying attention, he did the same thing in here. He just nailed the, the cable to the wall. Instead of putting a hole back through the wall and, and putting the cable back in the wall, he just brought it out and put a put a, a, a nail on it, you know? One of those hook nails. Just incredible. And that's normal too. Again, it's normal. It's just what they do. So, But now we've got a nice cold air conditioner and we can get that room down to 20 degrees if we want to. So very pleasant. to go find another project to do now more videos coming soon